Welcome back everybody. Uh, just a quick thank you again for all the comments and the interest <clears throat> and as new subscribers thank you very much. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, I'm going to make no apologies for uh, Avondale Audio uh, here in the UK for all you people across the world may or may not have heard about it uh, renowned if you like, it's wrong really to say this, uh, cottage, cottage industry type of thing, a one man band, been plugging away half his life uh, producing high end quality products for the, audio, the DIY market really, in the audio sector. Uh, and I started many, many years ago with, um, let me move this light out of the way. Right? That's better. I started many years ago with some uh, boards that I bought off of Avondale. Uh, this is the NCC 200. Just this is just a bare board, and you just build it up, component values, um, and some on semi output devices, 15, 003, and 004. Uh, I'm not going to get into too much detail. That's that's not what. I'm into. I just want to show you what I, the, the route I've taken. Um, there are lots of others, amplifier modules, kits, whatever you like, that you can source. I think there must be about 50, 60 products that you can buy semi built, part built, or as a bare PCB, and you source all the components, populate it, fire it up, and test it yourself. Indeed, you've seen my previous videos. Please go and have a look. The Nelson Pass range of uh, Class A amplifiers in huge cases. They generate a huge amount of heat. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't for me in the end. I mean, it's a very nice amplifier, but it didn't do it for me. <coughs> Mainly because I, I couldn't put them anywhere. Here in the UK, we, we have small rooms. Uh, but you can uh, get quite a nice sound out of them. Uh, but I've gone down the AB route, as it's called, as opposed to, to the A class, which generates a lot of heat. And Avondale moved on to a, a, a production board, the NCC 200. Uh, this is the later specs, a higher quality board, higher quality product. Um, and he must have sold hundreds of these worldwide. There's loads loads out there lots of people have upgraded specifically with a name amplification the nap series uh, this is just a straight swap out uh, built up but that has seen its day now and there's a lot of disgruntled people I would imagine that uh, have these and this has come along on the back of the Avondale 200 there is a 220 and another one called the Qdos very much along the same lines um, asymmetrical inputs again I don't want to get technical too technical um, and then we moved on to this which uh, the gentleman designed in 1998 and done no nothing with it it was just sat on the shelf and done nothing he sent me a couple of boards and in actual fact I bought these I bought these um, and he said give them a go they absolutely transformed your sonic environment they are a wonderful thing to, to, to listen to they lift the sound they push, they project the sound out in front of the speaker like nothing I've heard before uh, and I've, as I say, I've, I've done loads I've had loads of amplifiers over the years 40 plus amplifiers I've owned and used uh, plus all the ones that I've built and these NCC or oh, sorry these SE 200s surpass all of those this little device will even surpass the Avondale NCC 300 which has double the amount of output devices is typically the same here um, the 300 has regulators for this front end um, 
smooth it out a bit. But this actually beats, in my opinion, the NCC 300, even in a Voyager. Now the Voyager variant is you have a large transformer and smoothing capacitors for the outputs. It's this bit. And you have another transformer and a regulator for the front end. Which smooths out, takes out any harshness and allows this to drive these with a plumb, with easily, easily. Um, quite astonishing. So this is, in effect, a pre-production board. Works perfectly. I've been using them for nearly a year now. Um, but a few months ago, uh, a production-based board or module turned up, uh, which is, in effect, exactly the same. <coughs> Excuse me again. But it's far superior uh, in any way, shape or form. In every way, shape or form. Uh, the board is much thicker. The tracks are much nicer. Uh, the soldering is exemplary throughout. Uh, components have been beefed up. Uh, it's just... Um, we've got a feedback resistor. A Charcroft in there. We've got um, an RN60 dial in there. In all the critical places, nice silver mica on the dominant pair to slap it down. There's additional zero volts. Unfortunately, these are not a straight swap out for the NAP boards modules. There's this additional zero volts that has to go back to the smoothing capacitor banks or the zero. So you have one, two, three zeros. Here's your input, plus and minus and an output to your speaker uh, and these are stunning absolutely stunning um, and they will be these will be available as a built module not as a bare board uh, I think there are so many difficulties with customer service if you buy a bare board uh, and you cock it up, you blow it up, you can be scratching your head. Um, it's alright for me, I've been doing it a long time. Uh, and I can fix it in an hour or so. But for a, dare I say it, a newbie, a DIY novice, um, it's a headache for Avondale because all that happens, he sends these out with a few proprietary components that you need, that you can't buy. Like, like these coils for the Zobel network. Um... And then he gets inundated with phone calls. I was there some time ago, <coughs> some years ago. And in the two hours that I was there at his workshops, he must have had 10 phone calls. Les, can you help me? Can you help me? I've blown this up. Uh, this has gone wrong. That's gone wrong. Then there's a wonderful forum called Pink Fish. Uh, they are very good at helping everybody. Uh, but I don't think in this day and age it's practicable uh, to actually make a living answering the phone all day long when you send out a couple of boards and some few bits for 70 quid, 80 quid, 100 pound, whatever. There's no, there's no money in that. There's no, there's no niceness in it for him. Uh, so he will only do a built-up board like this, ready to go. It's almost plug-and-play. But you have to use an additional zero that goes back to the zero on the capacitor banks. Be it uh, a pair of 15,000s, 20,000s or a CAP6 module that he can supply. Now I'm going to do a bit of hand holding here on the uh, camera. So if I get a bit wayward. Uh, this is something I built some time ago and you'll see straight away. Um, that we have a transformer here, a whacking great, it's a 500 VA, it's 35, not 35 volts going into these smoothing cap modules, which is Avondale's cap 6, and they feed onto, these are the, again, the prototypes, or pre-production type of SE200 boards. 
uh, I can't show you, but under, underneath there is there is a coil for the Zobel. You will notice there's no coil on the tops underneath. Uh, just a bit of experimentation I was doing, uh, but that that's a type of a thing that I'm into. This case um, will accommodate four of these, and you can run two off of each cap six module if you wanted and that was my plan you can see all the holes in the back uh, there's going to be a multi-amp <clears throat> but I didn't get around to it um, but if you think or if you read that a toroidal transformer is the best thing I'm going to say you're sadly wrong this EI uh, in effect it's a plate transformer the sound stage that this produces uh, is far greater than a toroidal. Um, it's in a different league. I suppose that's why many Japanese manufacturers, I think they still use them a lot, this type of thing. But this is super huge, it's massively heavy, a lot of iron in it. And today you're looking at about £450 uh, for something like this. If you can get somebody to make it for you, a specialist, something like that. Um, the cap six modules i think they're about 130 pounds a pair may not be right uh these uh let me get you back on these these production boards beautiful absolutely beautifully made uh, these production boards unfortunately because of component costs, overheads and everything else they're going to be pushing seven, £750 now um, but that's just the way it is, uh, that's life um, but in reality these are well worth every single penny every single penny the, the way it puts across music is astonishing um, it's a fantastic thing and we move on I know the title is SE200, uh, but I'm going to incorporate this in this video. Uh, this is an SE230. Let me see it here, SE230, which is another leap up, a big leap up from these 200 boards sonically. This is good. This is good. This is supreme. This is the way it portrays its musicality is quite stunning. Uh, and again, you have the three zeros one, two, three. So it's not quite a straight swap out. And in fact, these aren't available for the DIY as a ready built module. You have to send your equipment back to Avondale and he will retrofit these into your existing equipment for you. Uh, it's they're about a thousand pounds um, plus any anything else that you may need to d to do if you want to recap service your power supply. Um, but here we have this a good old toroidal. This is a 500 VA. Again, we're running 35 not 35 or 36 round about that, which produces around about the 50 volts per rail. Uh, but you'll notice. Um, we now have a symmetrical front end. So you have four devices, four transistors this side, four transistors that side. They're current mirrored, so everything is uniform. And everything up the line, when it's told what to do, it does it. It has no alternative but to do it. And we have these uh, MJW 15... 1302 MJW 1302s and 3261s or something, 2 ones. Um, a renowned device uh, and they sound superb. This is just a, one of my mono blocks I knocked up just out of interest for you. I've used these in all sorts. I can swap, I can swap these modules out at will. Uh, all the spades, just unplug two screws on the bottom and screw in a new module. Um, so I can go from a an NCC 200, 220, QDOS, SE, 
SE production and the SE230 if I wanted. I've got a pair of these obviously. Um, but there's just a bit of a, a heads up on this. Uh, in, a ne in, in a later video, I'll, what I'm going to pr propose to do is do some sound testing, some sound bites. And I'll set up a system with the NCC 200. Or I might not do that, everybody knows what they sound like. I'll do the um, SE200 and then I'll jump across to the SE230 to give you an A to B comparison. Because there's quite a lift. There's quite a difference between these. And as I keep saying, these are good. These are sublime. They are delightful. Absolutely delightful to listen to. And they drive anything you like. Um, got a guy with isobarics and it blows 135s, 250s and anything else away. Absolutely. It's just the way it's so, so engaging uh, to listen to. Uh, so that's it for now. Uh, if you want to buy me a coffee, please do so. Uh, I, at the end of this, I'm going to incorporate some video of what I was working on uh, for a while with my colleague who passed away. Um, uh, give you an idea of what what we were trying to achieve, uh, what we, the investment we made, and it's all gone to naught at the moment. But um, it might be enlightening for a few people. And uh, thanks for now. Buy me a coffee. See you soon. Bye. We designed and built our own CNC machine, and this is the the mock-up. Uh, the actual frames, aluminium, and this is a a wooden mock-up, and we had it. Uh, CNC machined in steel in the end and um, it was very successful, worked perfectly but this was just a mock-up this is the um, we're cutting foil for a mag planer still only 600 I think so that's Craig Hill you can hear in the background that's not tiny, that was tiny <laughs> he was a very angry man uh, but we went through lots of experimentations bought all the kit to do it, bought all the different foils, sticky back foils, and then you stick the foil onto mylar and you stick the mylar onto a steel or wooden frame. Um, and the uh, aluminium foil becomes your speaker in effect. Um, there it is stuck on the foil. And there's the magnets that sit behind it. And there's the finished product. There was a bass speaker. Here's a little project. It's an isobaric.